James H. Meredith is formally enrolled at the University of Mississippi, ending one chapter in the federal government's efforts to desegregate the university. The town of Oxford is an armed camp following riots that accompany the registration of the first Negro in the university's 118-year history. Much of this film record was destroyed when our cameraman, Gordon Yoder, was attacked, but he did salvage pictures of Governor Ross Barnett at the scene. The governor fought the court order long and bitterly before modifying his stand, saying Mississippi was overpowered by the federal government. President Kennedy appealed to the students and to the people of the state to comply peacefully with the law and bring the crisis to an end. Even as he talked, riots were breaking out in Oxford. Americans are free and sure to disagree with the law, but not to disobey it. For any government of laws and not of men, no man, however prominent or powerful, and no mob, however unruly or boisterous, is entitled to defy a court of law. If this country should ever reach the point where any man or group of men, by force or threat of force, could long deny the commands of our court and our Constitution, then no law would stand free from doubt. No judge would be sure of his writ, and no citizen would be safe from his neighbors. Nearly 6,000 troops patrol Oxford to maintain order, and arrests mount to more than 200 as smaller disturbances erupt the next day. Former Major General Edwin Walker, who came here from his home in Texas, is put under arrest and held in high bail on charges of inciting insurrection. He was flown to a federal prison hospital as relative calm settled on the town in the greatest crisis the South has faced since the Civil War.